welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a delicious dessert made in India using colostrum milk of a cow. But since we don't have that, we're going to replicate the same and make a cheat version of this particular pudding. So let's go ahead and start making this wonderful milk pudding. So let's make this wonderful dessert. First, I'm going to add 400 grams, that's one full tin of condensed milk. So any brand condensed milk, just go ahead and add that. This tin contains 400 grams. So I'm going to use this particular tin as my measuring cup. Now to this condensed milk, I'm going to add 2 teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, let's add that to the condensed milk. The heat full. Once you mix this well, let's add equal parts of milk, the tin that I had to condense milk, the same tin I used to measure my milk. So equal parts of condensed milk and equal part of milk. Both of them combined together. Let's add our next ingredient. Now to this I'm also going to add equal part of really thick yogurt. Okay. Make sure you hang your yogurt or make sure you remove all the excess liquid from your yogurt and use it. I've gone ahead and blended it really well and made sure there is no lumps, nothing on it. It has to be absolutely smooth, like so. Now we're now going to empty this wonderful batter that we made with milk, yogurt and the corn flour and the, and the condensed milk. We're now going to be steaming this, so let's go ahead and put it in the steamer. Make sure you empty up everything nicely. Okay, now before we go ahead and start steaming them, let's add from top a little bit of cardamom powder. If you don't have cardamom powder, just take a mortar and vessel and crush cardamom seeds. Take around 7-8 cardamoms and crush them. Okay, so I've added my cardamom now. Now this is optional. I have... I'm just going to add a few strands of 
saffron, just so that. So while it's steaming, you've got a lovely color. Okay, so now we have saffron on both. Okay, now let's steam this for 40 minutes. So this has been steaming for the last 15 minutes. So halfway, I'm going to open it up. How wonderful it already looks. And I've got almonds, which I'm going to put this on top of the... Halfway down the line, I'm going to put this so that it looks very presentable and delicious. Probably around 15-20 minutes, it should be fine. So that you know the almonds are held well on top. Okay. Continue steaming now for the remaining time. Okay, see you in a while. So it's been about 40 minutes since it's been steaming. Let's put your knife and see. If it comes out clean, that means it's ready. And you can see how it has also risen up a little bit. So it's now 40 minutes since it's been cooking. Just going to put a knife inside. And if it comes out clean, it's ready, see? Okay, so let's turn off the flame now and let this completely cool. After cooling, you need to put it inside the refrigerator to let it set for another 4-5 to five hours and it will be ready to eat. So here you go, my milk pudding is now ready. I'm going to demold them and put them in a plate. If you like this recipe, don't forget to subscribe, share and leave a comment. Also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notification about the next recipe when I will be posting on my channel. Do try this at home. It is delicious to eat. I'm sure your children and your family will love this. So until then, see you next time.